Brindley Lawn Sweeper Frequently Asked Questions. Question 1. What if the sweeper does not pick up debris? Possible answer number 1. The brush height adjustment may be set too low. Please note, a sweeper is not a dethatcher and cannot pull thatch, embedded needles, or leaves from deep in the grass. The adjustment height should be set to the height of the mower deck blades. Possible answer number two. The brush height adjustment lever may be set too high. Lower the brush height one notch at a time on the lock arm until the desired performance is achieved. For best performance, the brush height should be set to the highest possible number while still adequately sweeping the lawn. Question number two. What if the sweeper wheels are not moving or skipping or are locking up? Possible answer number one. The wheels are geared to turn the sweeper brushes. It is possible that the brush height is set too low. Measure the cut height of the mower and adjust the brush height to sweep at the same level as the cut height. Possible answer number two. The drive dowel located inside the drive pinion gears are sticking or the drive pinion gears are worn and this locks up the drive dowel. Remove, clean, and lubricate the dowels, drive pinion gears, and brush axle, and replace the drive pinion gears and drive dowels as follows. First, stand the sweeper in storage position on a clean flat surface, such as a garage floor or sidewalk. Using a medium tip flat screwdriver, remove the E-ring, machine bushing, and wheel. Inspect the wheel gear and wheel axle, clean any dirt or debris from the inside of the wheel, and dust cover. Remove the retaining ring, flat washer, and drive pinion. Note, cup your hand under the dowel pinion as the dowel pin may fall free. Inspect and clean the dowel pin and dowel pin hole on the brush axle. Remove the large flat washer and clean the area around the axle. If bearing retainer replacement is needed, remove the tapping screws and the dust cover. Then remove the lock nuts and remove the E-ring using a medium flat tip screwdriver. Note, do not let the carriage bolts fall out of the lower pivot side plate. Now remove the bearing retainer and replace with a new bearing retainer if needed. This part can be found on our online store. Now insert the new bearing retainer onto the brush axle. It should fit flush on the lower pivot side plate with the flange fitting inside the lower pivot and brush housing. Snap the E-ring into place on the brush axle. Be sure the E-ring is fully engaged with the groove on the brush axle. Assemble the three lock nuts, securing the bearing retainer. Tighten all three lock nuts. Assemble the dust cover to the lower pivot side plate using the tapping screws. Warning, do not over tighten the tapping screws. Now replace the large flat washer onto the brush axle until it touches the bearing retainer. At this point, you can apply WD-40 or light lubricant to the dowel pin and insert it into the hole on the brush axle so an even amount is showing on both sides. Insert the drive pinion onto the brush axle until it touches the large flat washer. The dowel pin will be inside of the drive pinion. Insert the flat washer into the recess of the drive pinion and assemble the retaining ring onto the groove on the brush axle. Apply a light coating of WD-40 to the wheel axle and insert the wheel onto the wheel axle. The wheel gear should engage with the drive pinion. Replace the machine bushing and snap the E-ring into place on the wheel axle. Note, the E-ring should engage with the groove on the wheel axle. Question number three. Why is the grass and yard material going over the top of the hamper? Possible answer number one. The windscreen can be used to prevent material from blowing out of the hamper at slow speeds and medium winds. Attach the elastic straps on the end of the windscreen to the hamper upper side tubes. Reattach the hamper to the brush housing with the hairpin cotters and clevis pins. Possible answer number two. Try slowing the towing vehicle down. The sweeper works best at speeds of three miles per hour or less. Question four. What if the hamper is dragging on the ground? Possible answer number one. The tow bars may not be level with the ground when attached to the towing vehicle. To level the hamper, it may be necessary to adjust the hamper stop so that the hamper assembly remains clear of the ground. Loosen, but do not remove, the two nuts securing each side of the hamper stop. 
Move the hamper stop up or down to adjust the resting position of the hamper so that it is approximately level. Then tighten the nuts on each side to secure the hamper stop in position. If a level adjustment is still not possible here, the clevis assembly may need to be readjusted so the hamper has adequate clearance to the ground. Remove the clevis assembly and reinstall in a different set of mounting holes. See step 3 in the owner's manual for the illustration. If the tow tubes are angled rearward, adjust the tow tube mounting holes on the clevis lower. This will angle the tow tubes forward and raise the hamper assembly. Question 5. What if the hamper orientation is too high? The hamper mount tubes may be assembled upside down. See assembly step 14 and confirm the orientation of the hamper mount tubes. Question number 6. What is the proper way to tie the cord to the handle? Allow the pull rope to slacken several inches and droop between the vehicle and tied point on the hamper. Tie two knots in this area of the pull rope and drag the handle towards the knots. Pull to secure their position on the rope. Cut and discard any excess rope below the two knots that have been tied. Use the hook and loop tape to secure the handle to the back of the vehicle. Always secure the handle after dumping and while in use. Question number seven. What's the best way to store the sweeper when it's not in use? The sweeper can be tipped upright and stored against a wall. First, remove any loose material from the hamper and brushes. Remove the small hairpin cotters and clevis pin that secure the hamper to the brush housing and remove the hamper assembly. On the sweeper, adjust the brush height to a position of 10 on the lock arm. Lift the clevis assembly vertically so the sweeper is standing upright on the hamper mount tubes and hamper stop bar. Collapse the hamper by removing the two spring rods. Orientate the collapsed hamper so that the rear hamper tubes are up. Roll the sweeper to the desired storage area. Move it close to the wall so the top of the brushing housing faces the wall. Position the closed hamper between the sweeper and the wall and hang on the clevis assembly from the middle of the rear hamper tube. Need any parts? Check out our online parts store at shop.brinley.com. Assembly manual can be found at brinley.com. For questions or concerns, please call 877-728-8224. Brindley, since 1839.